Hello everyone, Illybug Tato here, and welcome back to A Machine for Pigs. Um, uh, also an amnesia game. So, last time, uh, we saw a creature of some sort running up about, and, uh, we passed through a graveyard that was full of bodies, which, uh, usually is the case. So yeah, now we made it into a place, uh, just... Uh, beyond the graveyard. Okay. We'll see what goes on. I think there's gonna be some kind of monster creeping about. And yeah. November 23rd, 1899. Twin candles bent to the will of Central Saint. Casting their light onto the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, I thought could be trusted with the secret, but he is like all the others, so the old priest has gone to hide holding pins with his flock. He says he will enter into our world with them a shepherd indeed. Cool. By the way, I just ate something spicy, if I sound a little sniffly. I don't like the ambience of this place. It's very spooky. I feel like something, something's going to happen. Ah, yes. Ah, 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 ah. One, ah, ah, ah. Two, ah, ah, ah. Jesus, is that you? Oh, no. That pig. Nice. Wine honky. That's very loud. I thought it was gonna kinda stop after a little bit, but apparently not. Anything in the queues? Got a teddy bear here. Oh, thank God. Please don't start back up again. That was so loud and obnoxious. Okay, great. Amazing. Gramophone? Your faith shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity, one of steam and the wheel of magnetism and progress. Ah, yes. The old god is nothing more than a lame hog, spitting back offal at mankind. Lame ass hog. What now? I saw the thing, uh, but it wouldn't let me fire her up. So I guess, me oh, these doors are closed. I thought this was where I came from, but maybe, maybe not. Oh no, that might have been right there. Uh, what you got for me? What do you have for me? Yeah, I guess I'm back up here. Check. Make sure. 
If uh, it doesn't let me do anything, I guess go back outside. Lame ass hog. Yo! Oh, I thought somebody was here. Have I been in here? Oh, this is... I just circled around somehow? What? What? I'm confused. I thought I... I don't know. Check my notes. Document. I have no idea. No idea. Do I have to light all the candles? I feel like this might be the right thing to do. Oh. Uh huh. Yes. Maybe I gotta find one of those. I feel like I need another one of these. The fixer up. Where do I find a candle? Well, a candle, like, built, like, so. In a lot of books. Oh, dog, dog, I really hope they don't have a chase scene in here. This would be, like, the scariest place to have a chase scene. Running up and down these pews, trying to get away from it. I'm not really seeing a candle around. Perhaps either here or that office I was in, or somewhere completely different. Most likely somewhere completely different, I guess. Knowing this game. these drawers that's kind of hopeful maybe 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 um bibla i was hearing like an organ playing earlier very loud and obnoxiously but the thing is i didn't really see the organ i don't think Okay, one more check to find the organ. I did scribble something in my notes it looked like. Uh, when I turn that candle. Hmm. It's 
some kind of mechanism, a secret and infernal one, no doubt. The missing candlestick is clearly the answer, but why? This I cannot fathom. Uh, why hide secret machines in a place of prayer? And where are the faithful? Why are there drag marks about the altar as if someone was pulled away? Okay, cool. So, is candle. Candle confirmed. Drag marks. I'm on that. Okie dokie. I'm leaving to go search for a candle then. Mission find candle. Wait, is that it? Oh yeah, that was a door. I don't think I could open it. Fuck. Batman's worst enemy. Okay, there we go. Office. And exit. Oh, no exit. Yeah, I guess the candle is somewhere here. We just have to look a little harder. Men stay erect. Leave no table unturned. Oh, it's a pushy door. Okay, I see. Ooh. Best be candle. Candle. Nice. Anything else? A note? Father Jeremiah's journal, October 1st, 1899. They flock to us now, where once I had to walk amongst them. To bring salvation unto their lives. Now draw by warmth in winter. By the food that Mandus distributes. My church is full and my charges are saved. Uh, he walks amongst them and they almost worship him. He will not allow them to work in his factories. Claiming that his workforce are specially trained for the new machinery he uses. And that it would be irresponsible, nay unethical, to risk such precious lives as he sees here. A changed man since Mexico, it is to be praised that in the face of such appalling tragedy, and from the confines of his sickbed, he is often chained to, he conducts one of the greatest and most benevolent parodies in all of London. Not content with the rise to become the dominant food produ uh, produce business in the land, he distributes his goodwill, his fares, to the poor, and they congregate about his kingdom in gratitude. Great. I'll be taking my candle. Nope. This away we go. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. I didn't notice that uh, stained glass up there. Pretty ominous. Oh, it's a cat face. I thought it was a bag over someone's head. Still pretty weird. So, yeah, they're worshiping machinery. Stuff. Probably that dude. Did 
It's lit. Hey, cool. Bears. Pretty wacky wild church. Oh no. We're trapped. I know churches be wild sometimes, but this one is specifically wild. Silence, do not startle or upset the acquisitions. Listen, Papa, hold the egg to your ear. You can hear the sea. Sure you can. I bet you just want to smash an egg on my head. What exhumation is this? What rotten fruit? What be stitched from parts? I doubt I will ever be found, yet I leave you this. Crawled in the maladorous half-light, uh, whilst my tremendor shuffles below, my fellow prisoners keen and squeal in the gloom. And where I wait for the knocking upon my cage that signifies it is, finally, my turn to make that dark journey into the interior. He does not sound like a happy boy. Yeah, man. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Uh, that's a big pig. Big hoggy boy. Very dark. I am in no mood for a hog dog, okay? Damn, that boy thick. A lot of cages. Oh no. Be very quiet. Oh no. I think this is a dead end. Oh fuck. I don't want to turn my light. It's right there. Please don't turn this way. Please don't turn this way. Fuck. Oh fuck. Is it going? Okay. Time to sneak this way. Don't put any glass for me to step on, please. Okay. We got past him. It almost sounded like he was wearing armor, or maybe he's part machine, part pig. And so, to the stoking. The fog will not lift the ship 
is be calmed. Everyone lies in half light, waiting to drown in the air, dry air. He is the paperweight that ballasts them. No. Big hot load. Ooh. We made it past the pig. I wonder if it would have been possible if I would have uh, tried to push on that wall, you know, to get through it. Oh wait, this is a different place than I thought, never mind. Alright, we're back up top. sparks of the embers of the wheels. It's too bony. It's too damn bony. Fuck, it's bony. So it's kind of like a fucked up Willy Wonka. If you really think about it. These so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. And these fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government, they make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break the cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunate <laughs> is surely the only sucker one can buy. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now. With the piggy boys. There was a way to go up, but uh, I went down, so. We got number one, we got number two. I can't tell if this is the fuel for it or not. And if so, should I just keep putting more in there?
Aha, yes. It just need a little more. One, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, buckle some more, five, six, roasting some pigs. Oh, shit. Well, okay. I thought that fire was a monster coming for me out the flames. But it was just the flames themselves. I said, seven, eight, this is my fate, nine, ten, Mexican Ben. Okay, what, what now? I thought that was going to open. Open, please. Okay, maybe the center room has some kind of console. Oh. Oh, slidey doors. Nice. What you got here? More reading? Nice. October 18th, 1899. A series of collecting vents have been installed along the ceiling at this stage of the line. In the process of stunning and bleeding, the product often expels stinking vet vapors from its digestive system. Which can be collected. Nice. Awesome. Condensed and used in the methane boiler. That's efficient. to drive the engines as a whole. In this way, the more product is processed, the more power come, becomes available to the machine. And productivity is actually increased. A simple stroke of genius. Uh, but one that encapsulates the benefits of self-regulatory automation. I feel like this this place is just like super fucked up like even maybe I am in the process of doing the work. But I think of stuff like that not on quite that fucked up of a scale but like just things that uh you know not really s set up in the way that people normally think of things being set up you know. All engines to go. Higgly wiggly. Higgly. Stop. Are your furnaces fueled? I think so. Unless there's maybe one more somewhere. Is that is that one fueled? Is fueled? Good. Yep, that's got one too. Maybe this one? Yeah. Okay, last one. Boom. The uh, two good? Two enough? Awesome. 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 Berry blossom. All it is actually a go. That's loud. That uh, doesn't seem right. The light shut off after I turn it on, but okay. I feel like a bon monster is coming for me now. Oh, no, 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 no,
no, no, uh uh. Nah, I'm good. I'm good on that. I'm gonna hide in, uh, furnace number three area. Like Mambo number five, but with the fire. Very warm and cozy. Very Christmassy. Kind of spooky, but uh, less spooky than out being out there with that thing. Who's not in here, right? No piggy. Okay. There's a lot of moving things now. They're pretty spooky. Okay, gate open. I think the gate closed. So we are now down, down, down. Furnaces? Okay. You do not see me. I do not see you, therefore you do not see me. No, it works. It works, okay? Oh shit. He sees me. I saw him. He sees me now. He sees me now. He sees me now. Oh fuck. Oh shit. They said to be quiet. Maybe he can't. Maybe he can only hear. Okay, I'm gonna hide over here. Maybe he's blind. Because I remember they're like, sh -sh 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 -sh, be quiet. So maybe no. I just gotta creep around, you know? And don't touch his piggly wiggly. Nope, that ain't it. Not sure where he was to them. He just did not sound happy. Oh shit, where is he? I'm, run I'm running towards him. Oh fuck, oh fuck, he's, he's not happy. He is not happy, fella. Oh shit, he's chasing. He's behind me, I think. Okay, it's kind of like a maze down here. Oh, hi there. I have a feeling that's where I need to be. Oh fuck, man. Okay, there he goes. Trotting off in his happy little piggy way. Okay. And over here? This is this is where we were. Okay, cool. Amazing.
Aha. Ooh. Made it out of there. Compound X storage. Danger. No naked flames. What about naked guys? How about that? One. Um, probably not. Okay. April 30th, 1899. The crate arrived this morning, and I had it delivered directly to the workshop. The body is remarkably preserved, although there is a subtle yet nauseating stench of damp and rot. Uh, it is humanoid in shape, but has suffered a severe skeletal deformity. Uh, remnants of leather straps encase the torso, which is deformed uh, with evidence of substantial muscle mass and displacement. It is difficult to ascertain uh, whether this unfortunate is uh, the recipient of some barbarous surgery or was burn deformed and an attempt to force his gnarly body to some semblance of humanity was made uh, what he is I cannot tell but I smell the orb upon him the orb yes and uh, suspect my great uncle's presence and his curious condition though so, it can be done we can reshape the body into a tool Accelerate the process of Mr. Darwin's evolution. But here's my great uncle and I part company. Uh, he, cho he chose men as the subjects of his experiments. But men are difficult to control and rotten with uh, sentimentality. No, we require a new creature for our Gatels. Loyal, clever, strong, Easily sated, sated. Yes, pigs. Pigs are all of the above. That, of course. Okay. Ooh. I think both of these were locked, right? Yeah. Ah. Right. More this way? Nope. Please, no piggies. Got another dumb waiter here. Okay, cool. Okay, yep, yeah, we're going. In the nest of eggs, it is cradled in his sweating hands. It sucks the fever loose from his body. He dreams of birds far above in the jungle canopy, a jaguar coughing at the dawn. A and A and A, yes, bananas. Come on, Mr. Jungle Man, jungle me banana.
children weep in the darkness and the flood waters continue to rise. Don't we all? Don't we all weep in the darkness? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that here. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll bring you some more piggies next time. Alright, yeah. <laughs>